There are four types of wave interactions we'll be looking at today. Reflection, refraction, diffraction, and interference. Reflection is when a wave encounters a barrier and then starts moving in the opposite direction because it gets cast back. This means that the barrier is rigid so the wave can't travel through it. The resulting reflected wave travels at the same speed as the original wave. Also, the wave changes directions with respect to how it encountered that barrier. So an incoming wave ray hitting a barrier at an angle will also leave at a certain angle. The angle between the normal or perpendicular line and the incoming ray is called the angle of incidence. The angle between the normal and the reflected ray is called the angle of reflection. By default, these angles are equal to each other in magnitude. Scientists made this law pretty easy to remember. It's called the law of reflection. Refraction happens when the medium that the wave is traveling in changes. Depending on the material, more or less energy might be required for the wave to propagate, meaning that it can result in a change in the wave's speed. When the wave's speed changes, its direction changes too. So a light wave looks like it's bending when it hits a new medium, such as water, making a straw that's already in the water look a little disoriented. Diffraction basically describes the spreading out of waves after passing through an opening in the barrier. The opening in the barrier is called the aperture. The aperture acts kind of like a pebble being thrown into water. The resulting waves are circular. So when concentric waves like these result from a disturbance, we call that disturbance a point source. It's like a point is hitting the top of the medium and the wave travels from that point in all directions. Interference is when multiple waves come into contact with each other. When two waves interfere, something called superpositioning can occur. And superpositioning is either constructive or destructive. Constructive superpositioning is when the amplitudes of two waves add together because the energy of each disturbance is added together. So at the point where these two waves meet, it'll look like there's one big wave with a giant amplitude. And when they cross paths, those two waves will be traveling in the same direction at the same amplitude that they had originally. In destructive interference, the waves can pretty much cancel each other out. When these two waves meet, it'll look like there's no wave there at all. But even though it looks like nothing is there, energy is still passing through the medium. So that means that when they come out of that interaction, they'll still be moving with the same energy in the same directions that they were still moving in before.